Girls State Soccer Tournament was not short on drama. Two halves, two overtimes, not enough for defending champion Valley and Centennial to settle their score in the semifinals. So we go to penalty kicks. And on the fourth penalty kick, Centennial increases its lead to 2 0 right here. Avery Porter with the goal. Uh, Valley couldn't score on Centennial goalie Kate Berg, and she was a star, stopping every single shot in the PKs, including this one here to ice it. An unbelievable effort by Bergen. Gives the Jags a 2 0 win in the PKs on to the championship. I mean, we practiced this a lot, and I just knew I had to stay composed and do whatever it took for my team. And our saying is team, family, passion, and I just did this for my family, you know? You can go to my Scott Rice for Twitter page to see all four of her incredible saves. And the other three a semifinal. Ankeny in overtime, stunned by Council Bluffs Abe Lincoln. A kick by Hannah Schimmer finds the top right of the net. And they beat Ankeny 1 0. Lincoln had never been even at the semifinal round before. And now out of Council Bluffs there in the championship round, Saturday at 3 against Centennial. KCCI's Jeff DeBroff has even more from County. 1A games is where we'll start Des Moines Christian taking on Underwood and the Lions start the game hot. Sammy Webster from deep, like way deep, the boot finds the back of the net and the Lions lead 1-0. They'll add to that lead Isabel Garcia. I've never seen this before. A high arcing kick from the side somehow sneaks in and the Lions take a 2-0 lead and they'll hold on to it and win it 2-0. We came on the first day of practice and we were like, we want to get that championship this year. And we've been grinding and working all season in 30 degree weather. So now that we're finally here, it's it's an amazing feeling. It's awesome. The other side of that coin is here. Alexandria Arnaud shot for Nevada is high in PKs. They lose to Davenport Assumption in a heartbreaker. In 2A, the top overall seed, DCG, playing Cedar Rapids' Xavier. The Saints get on the board first. Mary Kate Motor sneaks through the defense and scores, but the Mustangs would roar back. Kylie Neef, a breakaway, and stings one to the top right corner. We're tied at one. Mustangs would take a 2-1 lead and then extend on that lead. Here's a beautiful cross from Avery Corshing to Caroline White. That is as perfect as it can get, folks. No better. They take a 3-1 lead. DCG ends up winning it 3-1. We got some really good assists across, and it was a really good game, good competition, but it feels good to be going to the championship again. Norwalk taking on Waverly Shell Rock, and unfortunately, Norwalk wasn't able to muster up any goals despite a lot of chances, and Waverly Shell Rock would score the game's only goal on this beautiful shot from Macy Smith to make it 1-0, and that's how the game would end. Norwalk falls one to nothing. All three state final games are set for girls soccer here in Iowa. On Friday, it'll be the boys' turn to battle it out here on the pitch as they look to make it into the final game of the season. Reporting from County Park, Jeff Dubroff, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.